Hello? Hello, hello. So I have a surprise for you. We're gonna go somewhere this Saturday that it's, it's, a, it's a long distance away, but it's worth it because it's a lot of fun to go to. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've decided that we gotta eat, so we're gonna eat Moxahatchee at the Dove's Nest. Gabriel party too? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we made it. We're here. Just just wait, just a little bit longer, just a little bit. We're stopping into a store, but basically there's a bunch of these stores all in this little neighborhood and it's awesome. This one's called The Finery. We made it. Magnolia Market. Okay, so we basically drove from Midlothian, Texas to Waco for Magnolia Market. See Chip and Joanna Gaines somewhere. Probably they're probably not here. Look at look at this. Here we go. Look look at that. Isn't that crazy? Go all the way up. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I wanna go inside this time was this time. Try. Uh -huh. Try to give y'all a tour of what's at Magnolia Market because it's not just a store, there's way more. For one, there's a park where you can just hang out at and play soccer, throw footballs. And there's this really cool car that says Magnolia Market. There's this really great garden area, it says garden. And the gardens are right next to the little thing, the big thing. Cool, this is. There is food trucks and places to sit. And they also have swings for kids to play on. Swings. And more seating arrangements in a garden area. 
There's also lounge chairs. Like bean bags. Ultimately, this place is just really cool. And you should come to Magnolia Market. Look at that. fun here are the hours just for anyone to know it, th this is such an amazing place yeah I love it here it's freaking like heaven <laughs> we're we're done with Magnolia Market uh, that was like the big surprise which is being able to go to Magnolia Market on a Saturday because did you see how much stuff there was to do it's not just like uh, like places to buy stuff like you can just hang out there all day and it's great weather here yeah, it's good anyway so we're gonna try to find some more stuff to do around Waco before we like head back up to Dallas. Okay, we decided to walk around downtown Waco before we head back to Dallas. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to see, I wanted to get a feel for the town before I left. And I, I just go to Magnolia Market. I never really go to anywhere else around here. So let's check it out. Okay, after exploring for about five minutes in downtown Waco, we, me and Becca, have figured out that unless you are hungry, there's really no point in coming to downtown Waco. Like, there just isn't a lot to do here. Anyway, it was fun. Back to Dallas. If you're ever going down south from Dallas, you, you cannot. You, you cannot miss out on Check Stop. Check Stop Bakery. Check stop, check stop bakery. It's freaking amazing. If you've never been, like, th this is the stuff to do around Texas, like on your way to Austin or something like that. Go to check stop, it's great. <sighs> okay, now for real though, let, let's, let's go home. By the end of this time today, this grill will be gone. Will be gone. That grill is still there from Wednesday whenever I had that little cookout thing. And it's been sitting in my front porch area uh, since Wednesday. <laughs> anyway, uh, today is Sunday. Once again, I have to lead worship and preach, which is a very odd thing. Um, it usually doesn't happen, like, at all. So um, this is kind of the first for all of this. Ew. Booger, hold on. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of the first for all of this. So um, I just want to make that really clear. I'll try to actually film uh, a bit of my sermon and a bit of uh, me leading worship and stuff because y'all want to see this. Um, but not because I, I want to see it for myself because I actually think I sing horribly. And preaching, I can, I can definitely work on. Okay. That's too long. Let's go. Oh. So today's plans. Oh man, you didn't even get me one. Oh. You're wrong. You can get your own. Yeah, it's true. <sighs> okay, so today's plans. Uh, we don't really know. We we thought we were going to the state fair, and then it turns out that we're really not. So that kind of stinks. But uh, we're gonna find something to do. We're gonna find something to do. Maybe but. 
Maybe we can get a rug today. Ooh, a rug. Maybe we can go to Ikea. That'd be fun. I'd love to go to Ikea. Um, or Nebraska Furniture Mart. I want to do that one. We've never been there before. Okay. It's, it's going to be a furniture adventure today, which for y'all, I'll make exciting. But for me, I'm already excited. But the plans for today are church, that take care of that grill, and furniture adventure. Okay, so we are here. Becca's gonna do her makeup and then I am gonna start setting up the church. Um, here's a time lapse. Okay, I know I said time lapse, but just look at this. This is, uh, we rent out this room, uh, this building, so it's not our building per se. Like, I mean, we, we use it a lot, but they just put down hardwood floors. Look at, look at that. Look at that. It was like nasty white tile before, and now it looks wonderful. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks like a ballroom. Oh, okay, um, back to the time lapse. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> how y'all doing? Uh, how y'all doing? Great. Great! That's so good! I'm so glad you're awake on this Sunday morning. We're so awake and lively. Right? Like, that, yeah. Woo! Okay. <laughs> So I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to move in power, move in love, and move in a sound mind. And the way that starts is by going to God. The way that starts is by, is by seeking God out. Okay, church is done. I kind of forgot to film worship. Sorry about that. I mean, the practice of worship ran into the service. So it wasn't like you missed a lot. Um, if anything, this one I'd rather have not filmed because it was, it was pretty bad. My sermon was alright. It was decent. But anyway, okay, off to doing more stuff. This clip is way too long. Um, okay, so we decided to eat lunch at our favorite place. It's called Jimmy's. So we, I just, we just came in here to change shirts and like get ready for to be outside and you know be around places. And I went to the restroom and I came back and this is this is Becca, right there. <laughs> she, what was your response when I came into the room? This is what she said. It ate me. It ate her. The bed ate her. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get we're gonna get going here and, and we're gone <sighs> becca where are we going nebraska furniture mart say it again louder nebraska furniture mart no i'm not a writer okay give up on my way Uh, 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 you see how massive this is? 
This is a mall. One store. This is one store. This is as big as a mall. Oh my gosh. So me and Becca went to Little Rock, Arkansas a while back, like last year, last winter, and I had, uh, we saw this mountain called Pinnacle Mountain, and I told Becca it was a two-day journey to, to walk up that, to, to the top of the mountain, which is completely wrong. We finished it in about an hour, but this, this is probably a two-day journey. Look how huge that, my camera won't even like show the whole entire thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go explore. I don't know what to do from here. Give up on my way. There's a lot of stuff to, to go find here, but it's just a little bit out of our price range. Um, we're, we're just looking for a simple rug, and this place is like hundreds, if not thousands of dollars if you get lost in it and you start spinning on a bunch of stuff. And everything. So it's great, it's great. It's just out of our price range. Okay, so we are leaving Nebraska Furniture Mart. It's it's basically because they're like way too expensive for our price range. Like, you know. Just for today, we were just expecting to get a rug, just a simple yeah. rug, and they only have luxurious rugs. Yeah. So we ain't we're not struggling. You know, we're we're very blessed. I'd like to think, but uh, we're just not as blessed as yeah, some of these I mean, people. We could be. We just have to save up for a bit. Yeah. Like I would suggest if you're going to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Uh, if you have a thousand dollars, you'll be absolutely fine. If you only have like 200 bucks, just go to where we're going, Ikea. Okay, we're here at Ikea. I don't know if you can see that, but the goal is to find a rug. I say that now because you, when you go to Ikea, it's just this huge maze and stuff and you get lost and you get so intrigued by random things. I bet you right now I can show you a random thing here and a random thing here. But we're trying to find a rug. A rug. Hey Becca, what's our goal? A uh, rug. Yeah. But look, like you put spaghetti in there. You don't even have to pour it into anything. It's like your spaghetti's right there. You're done. Becca, what's our goal? A rug. It's only $20. We can do $20 been in here for a total of like maybe two minutes two minutes and Becca Becca has gotten off track like three or four times Look at all the good stuff. so this is the rug we're thinking here it's very reasonable it looks exactly like our other rug a little bit shorter but the uh, it's not as like shag carpety a little bit thinner Okay, now that we've found our rug, it's time to explore all of Ikea, which is gonna be crazy. It's a maze. Uh, 
this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to go to Ikea, was look at this kid stuff. Little Leon's coming, and we get to look at all of this kid stuff. Like, look, this is Leon when he's like 13, and he's like in his rebellious say it. Oh, is it girl? Okay, my bad. Sorry, sorry Leon. But look, this is Leon when he's like 10, and he wants like a tent. He wants, he wants to go camping all the time, but he just can't. Holy crap. This stuff is cheap. Yeah, but like he's gonna like mess up that junk. Okay, uh, let me be clear. We, we didn't buy the rug because we're in the, the car and uh, the rug that we we're looking for is like 10 feet long. And there's no way, there's just no way that it's gonna fit.